So you want to get started investing in real estate. Good. Welcome back everybody, Alex Beltran here. I talk about real estate tricks, tips, and topics. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, share my video with one, maybe two of your friends, hopefully maybe one of your single friends, <laughs> and hit that bell. Let's jump into it. Number one, pick up a book and read it. And I don't mean this in a condescending way. I'm not trying to say that you're some type of dummy and that you shouldn't be watching any of these videos, but a lot of people simply don't know the terms that they are looking for. By reading a book, it familiarizes you with these terms, making real estate a lot less scary, and it also allows you to take a deep dive into a particular subject. I mean, real estate may seem very intimidating because it encompasses so many different areas. You're talking about finances, legal, interior design, maintenance and repair, property management, taxes. Real estate is not easy at the end of the day. By reading a book, even a very lousy one, it'll give you a tiny morsel of information that you didn't have before. And who doesn't like knowledge? I mean, knowledge makes you the life of the party. Or even better yet, sign up for Audible, which allows you to listen to real estate books for free. I'll go ahead and link the link in the description down below. Apart from a lot of the videos on my channel that talk about several different real estate topics, there are other channels that I believe offer lots of information that'll help you as well. Yes, technically speaking, they are my competition, but I really don't see it that way. I want you to get the best information possible so that you can succeed. The best channel that I can recommend is Bigger Pockets. They have videos, they have podcasts, they have books. In fact, they wrote what I honestly consider to be required reading for anyone that is looking to get started investing in real estate, period. It's called Rental Property Investing by Brandon Turner. I'll go on ahead and link this book in the description down below as well. As you can see from all my bookmarks, I reference this book a lot and I've been in real estate literally half my life. It is that good of a book. Bigger Pockets is a no BS channel, which much like myself, they reiterate the fact that real estate is not easy. It's not a fast pass to easy street like all these other gurus like Grant Cardone and Ty Lopez make it out to be. The next channel that I highly recommend is Alux. Now, Alux isn't necessarily just a real estate channel. They talk about many different topics from business profiles, financing, luxury living, even motivation. There are lots of videos on Alux that have nothing to do with real estate, but I have referenced them as a way to solve problems in the real estate world. And my last recommendation is I will teach you to be rich. This gets your finances in line because if you don't get your finances right, it's only a matter of time before you fail and completely lose everything. I know it sounds harsh, but it's the reality of the situation. Now, if you get through all of these recommendations and are hungry for more information, feel free to email me. I'll be more than happy to send you more reading material. Number two, calculate your finances and see what you can actually afford right now. This is a continuation on learning about finances because there's a huge difference between being able to afford something and being able to buy whatever you want within your means. Because real estate, it is expensive. And if you jump in blind, it will bite you. And if after doing these calculations, you realize that you can't afford real estate just yet, don't be discouraged. I mean, that's all part of the process. You gotta learn to crawl before you walk. And this may take a couple of years. It might mean that you have to sacrifice a few nights out with a couple of friends in order to get you there a lot quicker. Or who knows, you might have that rich uncle that'll speed up the entire process. Regardless, Knowing where you stand will give you a good idea of where you can go. You're also gonna to wanna to set up your banking, which is a very overlooked step. You wanna make sure that the money that you're using for your properties is not mixed in with your personal finances. I will teach you to be rich goes into that subject. He also happens to hate Wells Fargo, much like I do. <laughs> Regardless, you should read this book multiple times and reference it from time to time as well. You also wanna make sure that your credit is as high as possible. Once again, all in this book. Number three, get pre-qualified by a lender to see what you actually qualify for. Now, after you've done your whole banking and you know what your spending limits are, go talk to a lender to see what you qualify for 
And sometimes you might not qualify for a particular loan yet, but that lender should give you a roadmap on how to qualify for that particular loan. Just keep in mind that lenders work for the bank. They do not have a fiduciary duty to your finances. They're gonna try to give you the biggest loan possible with the fattest fees possible because somebody's gotta pay the alimony for their three ex-wives. That being said, have a good relationship with lenders because they're gonna be the ones that are going to finance you for your long-term goals. Just once again, keep in mind, they do not have a fiduciary duty to you. This isn't to say that lenders are bad. You just have to realize that their boss is the bank and like a good soldier, they have to take their marching orders. A good lender to start talking to, especially in the beginning, is like a credit union mortgage advisor. They operate on a completely different wavelength than the large banks. They can check your credit, see where you stand, and offer suggestions as to what actions you should take in order to qualify for certain types of loans with very minimal pressure. Number four, map your vision. Now, when the average person thinks up of a real estate investor, the first thing that comes to mind is an out of control millionaire that is looking to turn it into a billionaire with sick ass houses, awesome Lamborghinis, chilling on a yacht, eating lobster, and eating gold flake covered ice cream. And look, if that's really what you want, then real estate investing is perfectly capable of getting you there. However, like the majority of real estate investors, most people just want one to four properties to properly balance out their investment portfolio so that they can live nice, comfortable lives. There really is no wrong answer here and know that your goals may very well change. You may get bitten by the real estate investment bug and try to buy as many properties as humanly possible. Or you may see that large scale real estate investing really isn't your thing anymore and you're comfortable with one, maybe two properties. But put that pen to paper and set a goal for yourself. Make it a fun project, whatever your version of fun is. Number five, execute. Your dreams, your goals, whatever you wanna call it, whatever makes you wake up in the morning will not come true if you do not execute. It's Really that simple. There are things that anyone can do at any level, whether you already own a million properties or you're just getting started in the qualifying process. I know the thought of investing into something that doesn't guarantee a return on your investment is a scary thought, but welcome to the world of investing where no investment guarantees a return on your investment, but guarantees that you will learn from your experiences. And question of the day, what are some of the things that you wish you learned early on in your real estate endeavors? And what were some of your biggest learning experiences? Go ahead and comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And that is it for this particular video, folks. If you found this video informative or entertaining, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe, if you haven't already, if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing in real estate, go on ahead and give me a follow on Instagram. If you want to watch some more of my real estate related content, I'm going to go on ahead and link it here and here. Other than that, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.